Hello everybody, Debbie Merrill here, the author of The Raw Truth to the Fountain of Youth book. Happy New Year, Happy 2021, Happy New Year, Happy New You, Happy Fun. And it's the best time to get my book right now because it's all about fitness, food, creativity, spirituality, the good outdoors, and surrounding yourself with loving, conscious, committed people. Today I picked a real quick paragraph, I'm just going to read a paragraph because I know all of you are out there busy watching your movies and watching the news and all I can say is peace in your heart, peace on your plate, peace be with you all right now. So I'm going to start with a chapter, it's called, I got new glasses, you like them, can't buy my old ones, but I know they're in the car somewhere, but did you ever go through that? You're looking and you're looking and you're looking and you can't find it and then a year later, hello, something appears. So this is called Your Crazy Makers. Everybody around us really believed in us and motivated us, and all the people that didn't, we dropped them, huh, like a hot potato. You've got to know you're a beautiful person inside and out, and you shouldn't let anyone tear that away from you. Venus Williams, that's a quote that she wrote. And I have to say something about that. Like, I seek, or I believe we should all seek inner acceptance and not outer approval because we'll never get it. I didn't get it from mommy, daddy. I didn't get it from the skating judges. I didn't get it from the dance world. I didn't get it from the acting world. Finally, it took me this long to accept myself and love myself and look in the mirror and say, Debbie, I love you. You're beautiful. And I like that little flower too. Yeah. And I give you a big hug. You have a beautiful face. You have a beautiful hair. Everything is beautiful because God doesn't make junk. So, further on in the chapter, the only thing I don't like about these glasses is I have to pull them. Get away from other people's negative thinking. It's like being behind enemy lines. Please don't let negative thoughts of others run around rent-free in your head either. On the other side of emulation, we owe it to ourselves to get rid of the toxic people in our lives. They're toxic. We have to get rid of them, step aside, remove ourselves from temperamental people, places, and things. And go where the love is. Go where the love is. I know it's hard to do that, especially if a lot of people don't come from love. You know, hurt people hurt people. But if you come from love, please go out in the world and spread that because we need it so bad right now. Hold on a second. Take two. I had a uh, lifesaver stuck in my, my mouth. Okay, so... This step is not always easy, but it is necessary because the only way you find yourself is peeling the under onion and getting to the middle. If we don't get to the middle, we don't know who we are, we don't know what we want, and we teach people how to teach us. So if we don't love ourselves, we're going to teach people to not love me and treat me badly. But it is necessary, like I said, to do that. So don't forget that step in life. Some of the crazy makers are energy vampires, I call them. They have been in our lives for such a long time. Ah! And they just want to steal your energy and they want to steal your information. They always want to talk, what's your life, what's your life about? But they never want to talk about theirs. And they're just sucking and sucking and sucking. And I get that a lot in the entertainment business and in the skating world. You know, People would say, you can't copy that move, that's my move. Well, did you copyright a move? I mean, no one copyrights any move because it's all God. It's all owned by the universe. So it gets, everyone gets to have it. So, so sorry about that, you energy vampires. You think you want to steal my diamonds and steal my jewels. And there's no way out. Every little thing that you say or do, I'm hung up. I'm hung up on you. Waiting for your call, baby, night and day. I'm tied up. Ooh. I'm tired of waiting on you. Ring, ring, ring goes the telephone. The lights are on, but there's no one home. You know I had to throw a song in there. Back to the book. I love singing and dancing, and I must get new glasses and frames. Okay, so these energy vampires have been in our lives for a long time. They also cause us to drink, to smoke, to gamble, to have sex, to you know, get into addictions to now suicide is is rising high. It's like right up there with um, divorce. I mean, and, and we live in a world now where there's so much wonderful things to enjoy. I believe in having fun. The more you have fun, the more your life works. The more I play, the more God works. 
Everything works when I'm happy. I wake up in the morning and go, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Even if I'm not, I talk myself into being happy. Like talk your way into right thinking, talk your way into right behavior. Be, um, so here it is. You know, they may be even family members that are your crazy makers, friends or business associates, and very often we don't even know these people are bad for us. We just stay with them. As you become healthier yourself, you will begin to discover who the toxic people are in your life. Like a light bulb will go on. Aha, uh -huh, I should have had a V8. Oh, that one. That one was a little, she gave me some negative energy tonight. Is she jealous? Is she angry at me? Does she want something? Did I hurt her feelings? Did I say something I shouldn't have said? It wasn't my attention. So never let the sun set on a resentment. And you'll always find out what's going on inside of you. I can walk into a room and immediately know who the negative person is. And I also know where the light is. It has become second nature for me because I've cleared myself of the alcohol, the drugs, the sugar, the white flour. So like I'm a raw. <laughs> I'm totally raw. And I've been a raw vegan for many, many years. And my sensitive, I'm a sensitive soul. And our souls are sensitive because they're raw. And we feel things very very easy, like things hurt my feelings more than they did when I was, you know, drinking and using and <clears throat> and using compulsive exercise and dancing all night long. I didn't want to feel what I was feeling. And being around these people, I didn't know how to say, you know, that's inappropriate. Please don't do that to me. Or I don't, don't talk to me that way. I don't like it. It's called setting boundaries. I didn't know how to do that, but now I do. Now I do because it's getting a little bit too late, guys. If you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? Okay, and the last couple of sentences, it's become second nature for me, as I said, and as I heal, I find it easier to differentiate between the two, which I become sensitive to both energies. And as you grow spiritually, and I grow spiritually, because we're in this together, be group-minded, our instincts become sharper and we are able to identify and eliminate the crazy makers in our life. Got it? That's just one paragraph in the Raw Truth to the Fountain of Youth book. And I just love some of the things that go on in my world because I learn so fast. I really learn so fast. And some of my favorite quotes are, when you're at the end of your rope, the rope has a magical way of extending itself. Mm -hmm. So don't give up. Persist, persevere, and pursue, and you'll find out what's bugging you, and your dreams will come true. I always say, God, grant me the serenity of an uncluttered life with um, ample leisure time. Give me the courage to set dreams and goals and ensure that these dreams and goals come true, and the wisdom, the wisdom, I'm so smart, to be flexible. I have to be more flexible in my life. See what I just did? I went, I'm so smart. Go in the mirror and say, I'm brilliant. I have a brilliant mind. I have a beautiful body. I love what I do. That was great when I went out tonight and I sang, good for me. And a couple of other quotes I'm going to leave before you go and watch TV or I don't know how you're social distancing at home, but I'm watching a lot of crazy TV and I'm not sitting on my butt as you can see. It's killing me. I can't sit. I, I just, from that car accident, my butt has been injured, so I really can't sit that long. So I can blow you a kiss. Mm, I love you. And the other one is, uh, which I already said, remove yourself from temperamental people, places, and things. And humor is our best friend. We have to laugh. <laughs> we have to laugh. We have to laugh, make fun of ourselves. Like, I can't believe this is so ridiculous. This illegitious, um man that's doing these crazy things in the White House. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but it's bizarre. So we have to laugh at life. You know, I, I watch a lot of the Atlanta Housewives, Beverly Hills Housewives, the Kardashians, and I love moms. When I go to mom, when I watch moms, you have to watch that show. It's one of my favorite shows, and I wouldn't steer you wrong. It's like being in an AA meeting. So I feel like I'm always in an AA meeting, and I always have company. And um, other people, do, I love this one, it's my favorite, and then I'll go. There's, this is my little alert system that I wear. So anyway, like if someone comes at me, I just press it. I hope I didn't press it. So my other favorite one is, 
people don't work us up. People do not work us up. You know, the outer environment doesn't work us up. What's going on out there, we work ourselves up. I tell my friends, don't watch the news that much. You know, bless them, change me. Bless them, change me. And I'm going to leave you with that. So watch a little bit of news, get informed, become intelligente, and God bless you. I love you. Thank you. It's Debbie Merrill, and we're all imperfect. It's an imperfect world, and perfectionism is a hope, dream, and an illusion. And I hope to get there very soon. Maybe when I'm leaving this planet and going to heaven, I'll be there. Okay, guys and girls, sexy friends of mine, little divas. These are all my pictures on my wall. I love looking at myself, and I don't care. I'll just tell you that because it reminds me that I'm still beautiful, just like you. Bye. Mwah. Love you, dear.